All right, here goes Nitro 6.2, more about arrays and in particular about traversing arrays, making a loop to go through all of the items in, array, in an array. So here they want us to write a method which will print out an entire array. So we want a for loop, uh, some integer, usually i, and we want i to go up to the length of the array that they send us. So, so array dot length. So if the length of the array is three, like in the array that we see up there with the A, B, and C, if the length of the array is three, then I will go up to less than three, which means I will only go up to two and then i plus plus and then every time we go through the loop we're going to do system dot out dot print line the array that they gave us at index i so print array arr should give us that should print out the a and the b and the c And because we're not putting a particular number in here like three, we're going up to but not including the array dot length, then we can add other things to this array. And our method here to print the array will automatically go through all of those items, no matter how many that there are. So I think that's all we need to do to check our code there. Now on to 628. Okay, let's print only the odd indices. So now we're going to do almost the exact same thing. Int i equals zero. i less than r a r r dot length and i plus plus. So I'm going to start off doing exactly what I did last time system.out.println, the array they gave us at index i. So this will print the entire array, but we only want to print the odd indices. So at location one and at location three, for example. So we need the index to not start at zero, but to start at one, we still cannot go past the array length because we'll get an index out of bounds. And now instead of saying plus plus, which will just increment i by one, we want to say i plus equals two. We want to add two so that we go from one to three and then from three to five and then so on. So this, interestingly, should print out the numbers 2 and 4 because they are at index 1 and index 3, which are the odd indices. The only thing we haven't accounted for here is what if the array only has one item in it? If the array only has one number in it, then we cannot start at index 1 because the only item in the array is at index zero. Oh, but that still works because for i equals one, as long as i is less than the array length, but the array length is one. So one is not less than one. Therefore, the, the, the code inside the for loop never even executes. That's pretty cool. I didn't think about that. So that means we should be able to check the code and we're good. On to 6.2.9. Finding the index of a string. Okay, so we're creating a static method over here called find string in the matching string class. 
that should iterate over string array looking for the exact match of the string that is passed as a parameter. Return the index of the array where the string is found. If it does not exist, return negative one. So we're first of all going to say something like this, int found it equals negative one. And then we're going to do a for loop for int i equals zero. As long as i is less than the length of my string and i plus plus and then sorry not my string dot length sorry array dot length arr dot length so if arr at index i dot equals the string that they passed us. If that happens, then found it equals the index. And I could get more sophisticated than that, but I think that's all we have to do. If it never finds it, then our integer found it is going to be negative one. And at the end of going through that loop, we are going to return found it. So just to check this out, find string. So remember, we've got hello, Carol, code HS. So system.out matching string dot find string Carol. So Carol should be at index one. Oh, they're spacing sometimes. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Carol should be at index one. Very good. Um, the word hello should be at index zero. Um, code HS, code HS with an exclamation mark should be at index two. And J should not be found, so that should be negative one. Okay, I think that's all that we need to do on that one. That was pretty simple. And on to the last one now, 6.2.10, Fibonacci sequence. So the number of elements to generate in the Fibonacci sequence. So if you don't, if you're not familiar with the Fibonacci sequence, the Fibonacci sequence is once you start off with a zero and a one, every number after that is the sum of the two numbers preceding it. So this one here is the sum of this zero and one. This two here is the sum of these two ones. This three here is the sum of those, that one and two. This five here is the sum of that two and three. This eight is the sum of the three and the five and so on. So, um, okay, so I think we want a, a integer array called sequence. And we're just defining this to be a new array of 15 items. So that should work out okay so far. All right, we got an error down here, but we haven't got there yet because we don't have a return statement. Okay, then we start off with the first two numbers in the sequence, zero and one. Then for int i equals two, we already got the first zero and one, the first two numbers in the sequence, index zero and index one. Now we want to do the rest of them from index two to index sequence dot length minus one. Not minus one. I less than sequence dot length 
and then i plus plus. So in this case, since our sequence has 15 integers, we're going to go up to less than 15, which is 14. Remember, our 15 items are numbered or indexed to 0 to 14. So we're going to go up to less than 15. And here's what we want to do each time. Our sequence at the current location, which is i, is equal to the sequence at the previous two locations. So the sequence at index i minus 1 and the sequence at index i minus 2. So we're adding together the previous two terms in the sequence and saving that in the sequence at index i. And then print out the Fibonacci numbers. So 4 int i equals 0. i less than uh, sequence dot length i plus plus system dot out dot print line the sequence at index i. So if I just return something here, so we don't have an error, return 0, let's see what, if this gives me the, the Fibonacci sequence. So there's the first 15 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. And it says the index position of 55 is 0 because we haven't implemented this method here. So. For this method here, we want to go through the array looking for a number that they give us. So this is going to be very similar to what we did in the previous one, going through a, an array of strings and looking for a particular string. So let's call an integer, um, just because I'm so creative, let's call, call it found it again. And at the end of this procedure, we're going to return found it. If we never find the number they're asking about, then we're going to return negative 1. But for int i equals 0 to i less than the array dot length. Remember, they're passing us an array as a parameter named arr. And then as long as i incrementing like that, i plus plus. If the array they gave us at the current index, if that is equal to the n that they gave us, then found it is going to equal i, because we found the number at index i. Otherwise, we're going to just keep going through the loop and until we either find it or we don't find it, it returns negative 1. So now, this will do the same thing, but it'll tell us where the index is. Found it equals i. What does it not like about uh, that? Integer found it equals negative 1. If array, oh, I spelt something wrong. Oh my gosh, found it. Try that again. Index, uh, index position of 55 is 10. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That looks legit. And if we say, if we look for 377, that's in index 14. And if we look for negative 3, it never finds it, so that index is negative 1, which is a pretty common way of indicating that it has not been found. So, oh, they wanted the results printed out side by side like that. So we're going to have to change this up a little bit and make this a 
print instead of a print line and then add a space in between those items. And now we're good to go. So that's it for Nitro 6.2. Now we're on to 6.3.